Welcome back to the channel. Recently we had Drew from Drew's Lens YouTube channel come and spend two weeks with us. Now Drew drove cross country from Arkansas to Washington State in his 71 Volkswagen bus and he is continuing his journey by traveling back a different route back to Arkansas. When he first got here we just kind of hung out. We went and played uh, disc golf at a local course. Yeah, yeah. From the shed. And we took some time to do a little fishing uh, at our river in the backyard. Then it was time for our first hiking trip, and that was to Cape Alava. All right, 6.07 a.m. We're heading to the Olympic Peninsula, Washington State. And here comes Drew. Here Ready, go. bro? <laughs> here we go. Now usually you can see Mount Rainier from the ferry, but it was hidden behind the clouds on this morning. So we are in Gardner, Washington, on the way to the Olympic Peninsula. And this is a area, it's called Trollhaven, and, and there's all of these trolls carved out of fence posts, and there's another uh, area where there's a bunch more trolls. We're gonna see if we can get in there and check it out. I guess I shouldn't go too far, because I'm leaving Drew back there. You can see him back here. <laughs> All right, we are at the Ozette Trail head, Cape Alava, and Drew's packed up. It's pretty hilarious. He's got a Blue Eddy, uh, what do you call it? A Blue Eddy EB55. Blue Eddy EB55. Cannon, two helmets, <laughs> six sun kiss. <laughs> They're loaded for bear. And I've got a little women's pack. <laughs> All right, 
We're still at it. Started out about 310. It's 426. Uh, what those people we ran into said maybe like 25, 20 more minutes. Yeah, that had to have been 10, 15 minutes ago. Yeah. There's Drew. I'm here. <laughs> Oh yeah, we see ocean. Oh, what do you think about hammock camping? Uh, <laughs> hammock, good. <laughs> oh man, I really thought it was gonna be uncomfortable. Like you're gonna, your body's gonna be all bowed. Yeah. But it feels good. We're right on the ocean, right there. All right, got Drew hooked on beach glass now. Now he can't stop. <laughs> Jen, finding you some nice little pieces. Yeah. Drew's finding Lindsay some good stuff. There's Cannonball Island off in the distance. It's the old Macaw Ozat Ranger Station. Drew's gonna go up and check it out. That's where the pit toilet used to be, so there's a bunch of broken glass over there from bottles. Right next to the old Macaw Ranger Station, there's a little shack with whale bones inside and a plaque that is a memorial to the Macaw Indian Nation. The bones in the shack are remains from an old Indian village that was buried by a mudslide and uh, every once in a while the bones can be found in the side of the hill as it erodes. Can you imagine breaking one of those ribs? <laughs> <laughs> that makes for a bad day. Check that out. He's gone pretty far today. Now you know what crab tracks look like. I haven't seen those since college. <laughs> <laughs> Not those crab tracks. <laughs> Whoa, he went all the way over there. Dang, his trail goes all the way over from there and out to here. That's a live we one. got a live one. He ain't gonna put up with much. Are you stuck out here, buddy? Your seagull bait. <laughs> Is it gonna hurt? Grab on, little fella. He's like, no, nah, I don't wanna do it, man. Don't make me do <laughs> don't it. Don't make me. <laughs> Step away from the crab. <laughs> Come on, get me. I think if you pick him up, then, then like pick him up from the back. He doesn't have pinchers on the back, but he'll latch he'll onto you with the back. Huh? Well, he'll just latch on with his back ones, then you can Well, put don't your... use latch on as the word, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Talk <laughs> me out of it. <laughs> he'll just latch on, Drew. He won't <laughs> let go, but... <laughs> Come here, little crab. Jeez, he's hard to get a hold of. Playing with crabs. <laughs> There's a nice one right there. There's a big one. Some more cannonballs that haven't broken loose.
All right, we're on the back side of Cannonball Island. Tides out far enough we can walk around, so that's pretty cool. I don't know if you can hear the sea lions on here, but try it. We just made our little evening stroll around Cannonball Island, around that way, and came out this side. All right, it is 7.25 in the morning, Sunday, August 14th. Give you a little shot of the view here. My first night sleeping in a hammock and wasn't too bad. Pretty comfortable. Pretty sweet little camp spot. The hammock's over there. The privy is over there. And uh, there's a little stream down here for our water source. Go So pretty sweet spot. Got everything we need pretty close. We had to cram a lot of stuff in the bear canister, all of our food. These are mandatory down here because they used to have a huge raccoon problem down here. So we'll open that up. Drew's foot loops kind of had to get smashed in there. Not too bad. Cookies. So this is milk that we freeze dried at home. Oh, and now it's on my leg. But yeah, I think I'll put a little bit in my coffee. This will be for my cereal. Let's check on Drew. It's about noon. Yeah, still in the same position. Still freezing. <laughs> <laughs> but since he was the pretty much the Sherpa of the expedition, let him sleep, let him warm up. What was that your feet were cold? Yeah. I need to tonight I'll wear a double pair of socks and an emergency blanket. <laughs> Well, that little sleeping bag you have, man, that's like a little thin blanket. Yeah, it's just a blanket. Searching for beach glass already? Uh, I found one piece, but I'm just uh, standing in the sun. i to catch a little ray. It's like 825 and uh, low tide is 852. It's going to be like minus 1.2 seven or 1.9 and then it's yeah, that's it looks lower than it was last night when he was walking up yeah for sure this is the lowest we'll see it with at nine o'clock uh, i'd like to go explore that island but i don't think we can make it out there it looks like there is some water out yeah we tried once when it was low and it just couldn't make it 
and then it starts coming in and you're uh -huh. starts filling in all those pools yeah if my feet got cold god i would die <laughs> <laughs> if my feet got wet i mean they're already cold this is the beach glass we're finding for our ladies so today we are heading towards sand point and we're gonna go look at petroglyphs down there and just kind of explore and of course look for beach glass. For our ladies. Beach glass. It'll be a beautiful day. All right, so we just ran into a couple ladies and they anymore. a couple ladies and they told us that we had already passed the petroglyphs that right over there at that point. So, we're heading back over there. Yeah, we talked to those girls at the just at the right time, dude. Yeah, us too. I seen them heading back this way and I was like, oh, I'm going to ask them. I thought I seen a different one when I was over there when I thought you seen it. It almost looks like it could be a face over there. We'll have to go look. That's a good one there. Good find, dude. All right, we just found the hunter. It's really pretty hard to see, but actually it looks, I can see it better on the screen here. After checking out the petroglyphs, we went back to camp and then we took a walk down by Cannonball Island as the tide came in and just kind of explored that end of the beach. Like I'm not just thinking like, oh, beach, birds, you know? My buoy's coming back. Hey Jay, my buoy's coming back. What? My buoy's coming back. What? Yay, it's back. All right, so there is my homemade freeze-dried tuna casserole. We're packing up to get out of here. Drew's still got to shed his six layers of clothing. <laughs> At least one layer. <laughs> got the packing.
pack ready to go. Alright, we made it back. There's Lake Ozette over there. Beautiful. Jen and I had done this hike before and she requested that we stop and get some jalapeno jelly at the roadside stand if it was still there. Alright Jen, we're stopping for your jams and jellies. There's habanero pepper jam too. That's going to be a must. Okay. Pino. All right, so we're going for the jalapeno pepper and then a smaller one and a habanero jam. On the ferry ride back home, Drew caught a glimpse of Mount Rainier. And in an upcoming video, we'll be doing a hike at Mount Rainier. So go check out Drew's Lens YouTube channel also as he is posting videos of his take on these hikes. So I'll put a link in the description below. Thanks for watching.